missed you incredibly. <clears throat> wow. Let me tell you. This guitar never sounded so damn sweet in my life. It never played so sweet in my life. This thing is just a beast. And I got one man, I know he's in the chat. I'm sure he's here now. Jonathan in the house. Joe McGraw. Oh boy, let me tell you, <coughs> this thing is set up. She is set. Brad, look at how shiny that, now I'm already putting fingerprints on it, but oh man, look how shiny. I had this guy strip this down <coughs> right to the wood. Every locking tuner, any type of hardware, anything that was going on with this guitar, I told him, I said, I want you to pick this thing apart and put it back together, and I don't care what it costs me. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm wearing, the, I'm breaking the strings in, the brand new strings in it, so it's gonna come out of tune a little bit here. I'm gonna stretch them out, have a little bit of fun. It's not gonna be a really long live, but I gotta hear it for myself coming through the live. And uh, that's exactly what, uh, I'm looking for, let's see what we got. Some. Ooh, that's really hot. Let's turn that guitar down just a little bit. Wow. Let's not do that. <laughs> Holy. Just trying to find a couple different tones here. A burning tweed. Turn these down here. Still going like crazy. That's the pickup. That's my pickup. She is. She's already hot as it is. And trying to find something. It's all. <laughs> Never did like distortion. 
played so damn good. I'm not going to lie to you. It's never played so good. It has not. The strings, the man went through all the frets. There ain't a nick or ding, not until the end of tonight. <laughs> but uh, there ain't any type, here, let me get this microphone just a little louder here. There we go. That way we're real loud. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through some sounds here to see stuff up because uh, you know how it goes. You play cover tones, you get cover songs, and you get copyright strikes or copy strikes, I should say. And, uh, just kind of just having a little fun here, hanging out. I have five guitars. Uh, this is the first one I brought to him. The next one I'm bringing to him is my Dobro. Uh, we were talking about that. It's going to take it's going to take some serious work on. I really want it to be dialed in. When I was back in my drinking days, I used to use it as an ashtray on my lap, you know. I'd have a cigarette sitting on the top and I'd be playing and I'd just ash right into the uh, resonator, you know. <laughs> yeah, ashes are ashes, dust to dust, right? It didn't really do anything to it, but uh, I didn't treat it exactly right. It's never been set up or never been looked at um, for over 30 years or something like that. I think it's a 70, 79 or something like that. I had a, a fella give it to me from a roofing job 
and uh, him and his wife used to be in a bluesgrass band. And um, it was funny because when I finished the roof, the guy, you know, he had a guitar sitting in the living room and no one really played it. But I was like, man, do you mind if I play it, you know? And uh, I did. And he come downstairs and he said, look, man, my wife hasn't touched this in forever. Hurry up and run. And I did. <laughs> mind you, he'd already talked with his wife. He was joking with me. But at the time, I didn't know that.
See if I can throw a little something up here and have some fun. <clears throat> I get to get myself a keyboard and a mouse because I gave mine to my sister for her setup. And uh, right now, so if you see the camera shaking and stuff like that, there's quite a reason for that. But let's see if my razor is working here. I think it's this one. This one. And of course, nothing can ever be uh, the way you want it to be. But that's okay. That's all right. Don't fall on me tonight. <clears throat> Scared to put it down. <laughs> Take one uh, wrong move and I'll be right back to where it was. <laughs> In the tech, the tech hands. <laughs> Mike's so sensitive you can hear the rain hitting the window. That's pretty wild. Oh, she's up.
something. I'm half a step down there and this guitar is in standard tuning. <coughs> so there's that. Let me try something else here. Let's close this program down or at least minimize it for a second. Everything's different without a mouse. <laughs> Put it that way. There we go. We can minimize this. Bear with me, friends. I guess I'm just having some fun, just feeling it out. I'm not, I haven't planned this. I was just excited about trying my guitar out and listening to different things. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's, uh, let's check something out here. Thanks everybody for joining in and hanging out. I know it, uh, it's short notice. It's kind of like a little teaser for myself to hear what's going on. So this is also an E flat. Man, I'm gonna have to turn my guitar down to E flat. Oh, let me decide something. See if we can find something. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's make sure we're at the right volume.
Finding that I just need a little tone tweak here, you know. Let's see, 80s got double driven. That was <laughs> that was literally pretty much just the guitar dry. I never even realized that. Hold on. Let's get that out. Let's see what do we got next. Do some talking. Thank you. 
I want to talk with the guy. I don't want to play him the whole damn time. Jeepers. Let me see if we can find another one. We're missing the whole rest of the uh, page here. Dirty blues, dirty blues, E minor. Oh my, E minor. Let's see what this is. that don't change. Shout out to you, man. You probably did a great job, but, uh, you know, there's got to be something else than just the EG for me. Let's see here. Psychedelic. Let's see what we got here. For many years. We got a commercial. Take care, Brett. Thank you so much for joining in. Like I said, it's not going to be a long one here. I'm just hanging out. Enjoy the moderators, everybody, as you can. I will be making those changes. I'm giving fair warning to everybody. I will be making a community post out there um, asking for specific people that would like to be a moderator and help this channel grow and become a part of the CFM community in a big way because there's a lot of things that are going to be happening. And uh, I really need some people that uh, truly want to support the channel. <laughs> Thank you. 
guitar How you doing, champ? Look at him working up a sweat. That's when you know it's good. my chops back up. I see we got some in the C minor. That'd be interesting. I haven't played in the C minor. Hey, Vinny. But I'll take a second. <clears throat> give a shout out. First and foremost, Mike's Fishing Home, man. How you doing, champ? Thank you so much for coming in and joining. An OG and a friend. And uh, no matter what has gone on in the YouTube world, this man has always been there and, and been a good friend. Never got involved, just done his own thing. And uh, for that, you can't ask for more than that, man. I hope things are working out for you well. I know that you got your house kind of paid for and you're uh, waiting for the nice weather as he's gonna be doing his catfishing out there all the time. And let me tell you, he's a real OG, okay? He keeps it real. He has a great chat. He just, he has an awesome channel, man. He's about as real as it gets. You get Mike, Mike gives you what Mike is, and that's all you can ask for. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for joining in, and uh, thank you so much for visiting, brother. I seriously, I appreciate it a lot. Purple Winks in the house, thank you so much. I can see some new people kind of hanging out here as well, which is super cool. Cheryl Locke, channel member, thank you so much. There's gonna be a lot more of this going on on the channel member side of things. And boy, do I have some amazing surprises for people come here in the summer. New location, new leaf, you know what I mean? Everything's crazy. I get so many doors opening up all over the place. It's, it's unbelievable what God is doing in my life right now on a daily basis. And I'm going to tell you, it's not easy. You know, it's not always easy. Um, it, I, I still struggle quite a bit. I'm still early in my, in my sobriety. Uh, you know, but uh, hallelujah, I think I'm at like 12 days, 13 days now, no drinking, no weed, no nothing. I think I might have taken like a few Advil because of my back. 
uh, with the drywall union. It's quite a lot of work to get those 12 foot 5 8 boards up there. Especially when you're doing the ceilings and stuff with uh, me and Tommy. It's just two of us, two man crew. We're, we're, we're on pace to do two houses, two full units. Roughly anywhere around uh, 4,000 square feet, 2,000 upstairs, 2,000 downstairs. Two of us doing two houses in a week. So if we, if we get to pace, which, you know, I always put high expectations on myself. If we do get up to that and we end up doing that, it'll work out to be almost 8,000 square feet. Two guys are slamming boards on. Corner trim boards, you know, uh, five eighths, double layers on exterior walls or outside walls, depending. And in some units, if the houses are detached, you have double layer five eighths, um, as well as Rockwell insulation in between that as well. So we don't do the insulation, thank God, or else I wouldn't be doing it. I can't handle the itch. Um, but drywall can still be like it's very daunting it's a different exercise and I'm telling you it's it's beefing me right up like I'm not kidding I'm eating twice as much without you would think that with smoking weed um, you know which again I'm not doing at all but you'd think that it would bring your appetite up right and it actually doesn't it my appetite is twice twice the amount it was before um, you know, and I can, I'm really receptive to my emotions. I'm really receptive to my feelings, um, atmosphere. You know, when they say you are what you eat, it truly does mean that man, it is a true statement. You are what you eat, what you put into your soul is what you can give out. And I just find the more clean and more cleansy I am, the more I study the word, the more I get into my book of, of, of truth, um, the more I feel I can be the best I can be and, and, and offer the best I can to people, both online and to my wonderful Queen Judy. And uh, that's just the way it is. Even when I'm playing, man, I'm just like, it's new to me, you know? It's all like, like bear with me, I can tell you right now, it's gonna get crazy, crazy good. Um, the focus, the concentration, the confidence, the ability to feel the emotions and get through it, I used to drink and smoke weed to, to numb that down so I could, what, they would, what I thought was to keep control. But to go through those emotions and put them through your guitar, to be truly connected to what you're feeling when you're hearing it, and put that out there, oh boy, is that ever. That's, that's exhilarating, it's exciting. And I think I put on almost, uh, I, well I was on the scale a week ago, I was 178, I'm now 183. Like I literally have put on almost three and a half, four pounds in over 12 days now. And I can tell you, <laughs> it ain't fat. <laughs> I used to be at a full sobriety, full sober and everything, no smoking, no nothing. I was at 210 to 215 pounds. And Tommy will tell you this, I used to leg press three guys on my shoulders. Tommy would be on the top hanging on to a pole and I would have two guys at around 150 to 180 on each on my back with um, him on top and I would leg press, I would literally squat. I could easily, even now I could do it, uh, not that much weight I don't think, but I used to be able to walk out the 200 pound guy, him not hanging on to anything, sitting on my shoulders and fully squat them in reps of tens and do that five, six times just to get the blood going so you could you know, get into push ups or whatever the heck it might have been. Uh, my legs are built like tree trunks. You can ask Judy. I can't cuddle with her and put my legs over top of her because it weighs about a quarter of her body weight. <laughs> put both my legs on it. It's like half her body weight. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're, we're limited on how we can cuddle. <laughs> I love putting my legs. You know what I mean, man? You just get your legs over them, you know? You just totally put your weight on. You're kind of like, that's mine. Get out of here. And uh, yeah, I can't do that. Poor Judy, I, uh, you know, I hurt her hips and, and, and she'll get sore. She can't sleep with that way, but she'll sleep on my chest. She's more cuddling with me, but I love to, to, to bear hug my woman, you know, and let her know who's the real bear around here. You know what I mean? Just be like, <coughs> come here, Judy, let's cuddle now. <laughs> That's right, Cheryl, 100%, I can tell you for sure. I was having a struggle today, and you know what I was having a struggle with, I'll tell you. 
I've had God in my life through his whole time. Now, have I listened to him? Have I been in his direction? Have I went down the guide and the path with him? Not by any means. There was a time when I was. But slowly as I deteriorated, you know, my relationship, I would say, you know, and in more a sense ignoring his love that he has sacrificially given to me um, through his um, sacrifice of his only begotten son uh, and the resurrection of his son, which brought us up beside him, you know, it made us, he basically claimed us through that. He said, these are my people, you know, and, and um, I just, to be out here, to be a part of society and, and, and give it an honest try, give it honest, honest, hard go. I got to tell you, I thought I felt the Lord before, and I, oh man, when it comes, it comes in waves. And today, I had a struggle. And the reason for that is because what I'm starting to realize is I'm so connected to my emotions that I am what I eat. And I truly believe that. You know, how I start my day, um, how everything folds out, like it can make or break me, you know, and really start off things different. So it's really important for people, places, and things for me, right? People, people places, and things um, is really important. But one thing is public media. And today, we had, uh, you know, they're, they're talking about these solar flares, they're talking about this war, and there's people speculating about all their different opinions about it and around it. And I'm not going to lie, when people started, to, when you started seeing the facts and hearing about the things, and I don't want to get too far into it, but I got a little scared, you know? I was like, man, are you kidding me? Like, I'm just starting to feel this stuff. I'm loving this, this, this natural high of the Lord's love. And, and the world's going to go to shit, <laughs> pardon my language. I'm still working on that. And every time I swear, it's either to the people I'm talking to or it's the Lord above. I'm just kind of like, God, come on, please help me, help me. Like, you know, one day at a time. I'm thankful that I have no desire to, to smoke marijuana. And I'm so thankful that I have no desire. And, and, and when life gets hard, my brain isn't going, well, just, just go ahead, Rich. It's okay. Go ahead. Do it. It's usually when life is going really well. That's when my mind starts playing tricks on me. You know, it's like, wow, you got control of things, right? Like you're doing good now. Reward yourself. Let's celebrate. Uh, uh. <laughs> I know that's the devil knocking right here on my shoulder. I know that for sure. So my point is, is that the morning started off great, but then we got into work and stuff. We started listening to these people, listening to radio, getting the updates on this whole topic and everything, and it just started putting fear in my eyes. And what I realized is that I'm so new to this faith and so still growing that I actually started realizing, you know, I need to turn to God even more because if, let's say, the world was coming to an end, there's only one way in my belief and my faith that that is going to happen, and that's when the Lord comes down here and claims his people and takes us to his rightful throne for the last and final time, the second we turn. But for me, I was like, kind of got a little egotistical, you know, I started thinking fleshly and I was like, man, you know, like I was just starting to get this going and now we're talking about a nuclear war and, and, and there's guys, uh, philosophers out there talking about the solar flares. If you look it up online, they're just freshly out there. But there's biological philosophers that are out there explaining that the first solar flares that we had seven years ago, these really big ones, it went across seven states, going across sideways. It did, it went one like these, okay? And now, in the exact same location, seven years later, they're going across seven more different areas, and it's creating a cross, across these areas. And I'll let you figure it out, what the center of that cross is. But as it started, people, as I started hearing this stuff and everything, I was like, oh, man, it's going to happen. Like, God's coming. He's coming really fast. Like, I haven't even got my license yet. I haven't, I haven't. And I started realizing, whoa, you know, I should be happy. If this is the case, then finally, you know, the faith and everything, I got some more learning to do, you know. I started realizing these type of things. And, and I got frustrated with myself. And it affected half my day. It did. It really affected my day. Um, affected my work performance. Now, thank God, me and Tommy have been friends 17 years, and uh, he knows how I am. He knows how I get. I get very quiet, or I get angry at myself from, you know, kind of getting a little cursive. 
at the screw gun because I'm not performing well. And I'm always about performing well. I always want to perform at the best ability I can no matter what I try to do. And one of the faults of that is, is the growing process to getting good at something. You know what I'm saying? Like to be good at something when it's the struggle, I'm getting older now, it's not like when we were kids where it was fun to learn something new. Guitar was a God-given talent. I didn't learn this instrument. I can tell you that 100%. I learned it through the radio and I would learn music through ear, but I didn't learn theory, I didn't learn notes. I had no understanding of the history of music or anything like that. I just really loved doing it and it was fun as I was a kid. And it just so happened that I was given the gift to be able to hear a note and find it on the guitar really quickly or to play with a band. If they just started playing something, I could understand the patterns through memory and through the, 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 the patterns that were there. But for the longest time, I didn't know what notes I was playing. And I have many friends that will tell you that. And people would literally be like, wow, you know, I can't believe how well skilled you are, but you have never learned this from a book. Like this is something that was learned from an ear. That is number one proof and evidence that God-given talents and skills are given out to every single person who is God's children. It's just honing in and figuring out what those skills are. Everybody has an ability to do that, even if it's just so much as making somebody feel comfortable when they come in a room. You know, that gives somebody the ability. You could be in ministry. You could, you could do so much with being that comfortable person. You know what I mean? I think I'm kind of like that rigid person, you know? Like at first I got that grizzly and the glasses and, and you know, I'm pretty well built and I'm six feet tall. So right away people are kind of like, you know, tattoos, which by the way, I'm gonna get one of the, this tattoo. We're gonna be having that one fixed up soon. I'm gonna get a music note there. Um, a really cool music note put there because um, I think it's time to grow out of that, that past. Uh, and what it does for me is what I used to think it was is it used to give me humility when I looked in the mirror. But to be honest with you, it's a con consistent reminder of the nightmares and the past. And, the, and, and, and for me, I want to be about the future. And um, I had good intentions doing it. But it's time to, to move forward in another leaf and, and be okay with the fact and accept that I've been forgiven from God, from my family, from my loved ones, from all the people around me. And I use this to keep myself in check to remember like kind of like what I thought was, you know, don't go too crazy, Rich. Remember, you were given this, you know, this peace, this ability, this freedom. Like, don't forget about it. But that's not what it does. You know, I look in the mirror and it makes me, it kind of, I downgrade myself. You know, I stop myself from wanting and feeling like I deserve things because of the mistakes that I've made in my life or, or the, the, you know, the accidents, if you will. And, and uh, I need to change it. I need to, I need to have something more inspirational, something. And so God gave me this music gift. I can tell you that 100%. He gave me this gift. And what I love more than anything with God is the ability to confide in our relationship through writing music and playing music. And so it's a music note. It's going to be a nice music note there, colored in. It'll be really cool. I think it will be really awesome. And, uh, yeah. That's right. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I wish I could get my phone here because I noticed Cheryl Locke uh, that you are not a, ri uh, a moderator and uh, you should be because you're a channel member and one of the only ones that I can see in here under this. But if I'm on my phone, I can see everybody as a channel member. And that's one of the problems with modding everybody. When using OBS and stuff without actually having my channel up and seeing how many viewers are there and stuff because I have no idea how many viewers are here. It's not important. What's important is the people that are actually in here and the focus of giving good content. Um, we all grow in our own pace, right? But I, I have no desire to, um, to chase after that kind of like, how many viewers do I have? Does that mean I'm successful just because I didn't have this many or that many? No. No, what makes me successful is, is if I did my best, 
then I can leave the stream and be like, man, that was really cool. You know, me and Judy last night, I went to her and I said, man, that was, that was really cool, babe. Like, I felt really good about that stream. I feel like a lot of people were kind of feeling it and there was a lot of care and love given in that stream in the community to people. We did prayers for people, it was super, super fun. And I felt that I did, you know, the best that I could given the circumstances, I was really tired. And uh, so, um, as I was getting at uh, with channel members and stuff, those will be one of the privileges that are given to channel members um, and that's the ability to connect with other player, uh, other people Oh, thank you so much, Mike, man. That means so much, buddy. Manifestation, that's right, or cultivating, you know. Uh, that's another word that I like, um, cultivating, you know. And not cult, but cultivating. Um, and and, and culti cultivating, to me, um, it, it takes a, a daily practice, right? Same thing like planting a plant in the ground. You can't just plant a plant, a seed in the ground, and let it be and it grow to its best of potential. It takes cultivating it, it takes nourishing it, and, and it just right down to the soil before you even plant the seed, right? The soil is the foundation, the seed is the idea. You know what I mean? And then, of course, as it sprouts, it starts manifesting into what you're trying to cultivate it to be. And so, I like the word cultivating, and then going into manifestation because you have to cultivate this, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, whatever you're passionate about, you have to do it on a daily practice. You have to really truly live it. And, and that's exactly what I want to give to people, you know. Um, it's going to be a journey and there's going to be times where I'm going to reach out to friends um, or, or express myself in true honesty um, went on a live stream with my channel members and stuff like that because I'm going to be doing quite a lot of regular channel streams on the channel membership side of things, not so much on the public side of things. Maybe once, twice a week, you know, I'll do something big on, a, on the channel. Um, but as far as regular getting up and hanging out lives and stuff, I really want to connect with my channel members. I want to be able to give my channel members everything that I have to offer, including channel stickers, illustrations, um, music, backing tracks. You know, I really want to be able to focus and give um, back to the people that are truly trying to support me and, and, and help me move forward, whether it's in my personal life or with this channel. And um, I, I, you know, I do, I'll get guilty. You know, I, I feel guilty if I'm not giving something back, you know, and whether it's just me sitting here playing guitar, you know. And, and so for those that haven't or those check out the memberships, I'm not afraid to promote myself in that way as before I was. Check out the memberships the, uh, that, you know, there's one at $4.99 that'll never change. It'll never change. The ones at, at, at $10.99, um, those will be coming. Uh, they are there. Um, and, and I may encourage people to step up to that point when I start getting the events going. And those will be live gigs that I'm playing at on a regular basis, whether it be a Thursday or a Sunday night, Saturday night, depending. I'm gonna keep my Sundays free because I might possibly have found a church that I can get involved with. I'm looking for a specific kind of church. Um, not that all churches are not good, but I really need one that, that fits for me, you know, with a music program and a really juvenile, like really uplifting kind of thing. And I used to, I used to attend a church when I was younger with a friend, Rick, who was a music promoter for Christian musicians. And you know what the coolest thing was? When they played gospel, there was a band on the stage. There was a band on the stage. There was a music program that you could get involved with on Sunday nights and go and jam with other Christian musicians and stuff. And that's something I really, really, really am hungry for. You know, I want to get involved in a big way in the fellowship and I want to be able to give back and I want to be able to t have my story put through music. That's exactly it, Cheryl. And one of the crazy things that was an amazing blessing is the guitar tech who, t who, who fixed this guitar and made it as beautiful as it is today. He is a Christian brother as well. And uh, when he, he came and seen the channel, and he seems pretty, you know, businessy, right? Which is really cool. You know, I'm, I'm a client. He wants to keep it professional. Uh, me, I'm like eager texting him. 
<laughs> you know, hey, what's going on, man? How's my guitar going? You know, and uh, and uh, you know, I might not get an answer for two days, you know, because he's not done with my guitar, you know, and, and he's very busy and he, and he does a great, really good job. It cost me 200 bucks to get this puppy up and shining and ready to go again. And boy, does it ever sound amazing and play phenomenal. Uh, I haven't played on tens for a while. I usually have nines. Uh, so I may, I may switch them up after I, I stretch the uh, um, strings right out. But don't I find out, don't I find out, Kirk Byrne in the house. How you doing, man? So freaking cool to see you in here, buddy. I appreciate that so much. I'm going to get back and play a couple tunes before I end the stream because I promise to be done around 10 o'clock. Um, as I'm up at 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning, every day, and I'm, I'm just too old, too old, you know, and I know I, uh, people will be like, hey, you know, well, if I shave all this off, I wouldn't look so damn raggedy and old, but I, it, for me, it's, it's me, it's natural, this is me, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm feeling kind of lazy, you know how much work it is to keep this sucker down? It's, it's a lot of work, you know? And life has got me going all over the place right now, and, I don't know, it's just, it's natural for me. So I will end up giving this a shave, you know, and shocking some people very shortly and bring that age down, at least the appearance. But at 41 years old, uh, my body is not cooperating with me if I don't get enough sleep. I get cranky. I can't perform at the best ability. And it, it just spiritually drains me down, you know. I'm a very, I'm a high thinker. You know, I'm a, I want to perform all the time. Like I said, even if it's I'm around friends, you know, I want to help them. If I'm in a job, I want to do the best I can. And with me learning a new trade, um, uh, you know, learning a new trade the way that Tommy does it, the way that, you know, um, the union is, <coughs> it takes a lot of thinking power. You know, I have to remember things. And, and, and if I'm tired, I get cranky, you know, kind of little, if I will, crying, you know, and during the job, if something doesn't go right, it's not like, that's okay, man, we'll get it on the next one. No, no, no. It's like, damn, darn it. Like, I start beating myself up. I'm like, how did you do that again, Rich? Like, you know what I mean? Stay with the studs. Like, you know what I mean? And the framing is not always perfect when it's in the new work jobs and new houses. I'll tell you that. Like, on one wall, the, the, the studs will be against the, the, the uh, stud. On another part of the wall, it'll be two inches away from the edge of the drywall. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm still wet behind the ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But with the union, I'm going to get full health benefits, uh, um, and I'll be getting dental benefits, all that type of stuff. So, I, I, you know, I'm pretty certain that, uh, you know, things are going to be really cool. So... If you feel like supporting us, feel free to do so either A through um, the channel memberships, four ninety nine. I'm gonna play live music um, on there, playing cue sticks and stuff, original music and stuff like that. But the ten dollar package, it requires me to take my equipment, bring it down to a bar, uh, set up the filming, set up the stage. I have my own sound system, I have my own soundboard, as people know. It's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of effort to do this. And um, for those that are paying that, that's I'm going to be doing those live shows over there. And then of course, releasing them in snippets and clips for subscribers and uh, the other channel members. First, the 499 channel members will get the clips. And then from there, it will work its way to the subscribers. Um, uh, you know, so everybody will eventually get the same thing. It's just that there'll be priorities on who gets to see it first, who gets to talk about it, who gets to experience it live, opposed to who can ex who gets to experience it as an after recording, right? Another thing, like I was saying, with the channel memberships is uh, channel icon stickers, decal stickers. Some people might have stickers. You might want new stickers. Well, I have the programs to do it. And I have the skills and the ability. There's lots of channels out there that are using still to this day their stickers and original stickers from when we've done this before on this channel over a year and a half ago. Those things will be happening over at the channel memberships as well. So, um, and then of course, with Judy's permission, um, I'm working full time now. So I want to give back to the community of people that are helping me out, helping support us. I have never released memorabilia 
um, when it comes to Kurt Burning's laser cards, still haven't given any of those out. I have guitar picks, CFM guitar picks, still haven't given anybody. Not one person has gotten this stuff. Um, uh, I have the stickers, the CFM sticker decals. Nobody has them, okay? And it hasn't been because I haven't wanted to give them out, but because I just couldn't afford to ship all this stuff out. And if I gave to one or two or three people and then all of a sudden they go live showing it, all the other people and friends of mine would be like, yo, what the, like why didn't I get one, right? So I wanted to be able to ship out quite a few of them at once. And when you're shipping to US, anything, anything that doesn't fit through a mail slot and weighs over, and I'm sure anybody will tell you this, the same thing from shipping to Canada, it's like minimal $20, like it is, it really is. It's, pra- it's crazy what it costs for me to send it over. And I think <clears throat> throughout the years I've realized through giveaways and stuff, it's why Canadian and UK is probably one of the last priority people when getting giveaways. There's, that's not to say the channels don't do it. Modog's sending me 12, 12 jigs, like metal handmade jigs from a channel, you know, and he's gonna send me stickers and all this stuff. So there is channels that do this. They do do it and they have no problem doing it. But there's a lot of channels where they avoid Canadian and UK um, shipping to them. They're not allowed to be in the giveaways because the price is just too darn hard. It's not, it's not the same as just sending an envelope with decals, you know, and going here, well, this guy lives in Texas and I live in Arkansas. Doesn't work that way. When you live in Canada, it costs. And I get it, I understand it, totally true. But I don't wanna be, like I'm not biased against that. I want to, and I have in the past, I've done it before, I've spent up to 80, 90, 100, to almost $300. I think Judy can vouch for us. There's been times we've spent quite a lot of money when I didn't have it, living in a dirt bag trailer with no running water, barely any hydro, living in the winter, trying to scrounge peanuts just to survive. Uh, playing on people's panels just to make money and eat only to be harassed about it and and disliked and hated about it when all I was trying to do is survive and have my music help me out and play a little bit. Um, You know, just things like that just to try and get the channel to move forward. Um, And I would do these giveaways and it would hurt. It would put a dent in us. Like it really would, you know, could put me in debt and put me behind in rent. And these were situations that I would do and not tell anybody until finally Judy's like, look, man, we can't, you know, we can't do this. Like your channel's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're meeting more people, more people, more people. And you can't just give when you don't have, right? And and it just, that's the way it is. And and so now, given the circumstances uh, that I'm at and the doors and everything, I'm blessed. I know there's nothing God won't put me through that me and him can't handle. And I'm blessed to have the jobs that I have right now. I'm blessed that I'm working and I have the income that I do compares to me roofing. Um, When I was roofing, the guy I was working for, I'm telling you, man, like, it was brutal. He was my landlord, my boss, and apparently my friend at the same time. And oh boy, let me tell you, this guy, I'd make him a thousand, two thousand dollars on a roof, if not more, three, four thousand grand after paying people, right? And he would use it to party all weekend, all weekend, to the point that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we didn't go to work. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he wants me to work, and I'd do it all over again. And this guy would be at home, party, hungover, wouldn't come out of his house, nothing. He's supposed to be my landlord, my boss, and my friend. And this was on a constant basis all the time. So it was really, really hard, you know. So I found there was a lot more time to work with YouTube uh, than I go do a roof. And I know my OGs, you'll know this from when you see, you know, I'd go three, four days, I wouldn't be working, right? I'm online all the time, I'm doing lives, I'm going to people, then all of a sudden I'd take a picture and be like, hey, check it out, I got a roof, I'm I'm doing a roof, you know what I mean? And I would use that money the best that I could to put towards the channel or to give back to the channel and uh, the community around me and what it did is it ended up really hurting me and Judy. Like it did, it got to a point where I was just like, man, we can't get ahead, you know? And, and, and I, because I, that's the way I am, that's the way I've always been. Like I deserve last, right? I deserve last, anybody else around me deserves first. 
um, because I don't deserve that, you know, and that's how I think about myself, and, and that's how I am. I'm a people pleaser. I like to see people around me happy. You know what I mean? I really do. Like, I, I strive for that. When I'm in a room and stuff, I, I, you know, I want that guy who just talks and talks and wants to inspire and, and, and stuff like this. It's, it's a natural gift that I have or desire to want to do that. But it's time for me to not be selfish, but in the same sense, I got to learn to love myself, man. I got to learn that there's priorities and things that I'm allowed to have too, that me and Judy can have too, before I give, you know, and, and, and that's just, I have to learn that, and I'm learning that, you know, and that's what it is, and so I will definitely, definitely be doing some really crazy stuff out there, um, Cindy B in the house, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining in. Bell V in the house. Bell V, I hope you're doing good. I hope that uh, things are getting better for you. I know that you're still going through recovery with the surgery and all that. Um, I hope things are starting to work out for you. You're moving around. You're a little bit more mobile. And if not, I will pray definitely that it happens very, very quickly for you. Because we love you. Judy loves you. You've been an inspiration. Right? You've been an inspiration for Judy. Um, and for other women as well. Don't let the haters knock you down, sweetheart. If anything, just move on forward. Wish them well and keep doing you because Judy really, really enjoys hanging out on your chat. She enjoys the inspiration and the strong woman that you are. So don't let people affect you that way. Don't let people hurt you. Don't even listen to it. Keep being Belle because people like Judy and, and Shelly, Shelly and other friends that are close to you, that's what they love about Belle V. <laughs> this is that Belle V's Belle V. You know what I mean? We love you. We hope that things are going really well. Okay. Well, that, I'm going to play a few tunes here. There's the thumb. Thumbs it up, everybody. I'm going to play a couple more tunes here uh, for a couple minutes just to kind of get the, uh, the feeling and the vibe. And then I'm going to get my book out. And for those that would like to have some prayers done for them, I will definitely do some prayers both in public and in private um, and, and definitely um, have people in my prayer book. And I will send those prayers to other people in ministries like my friend Tim Coles, uh, who is a big minister, has a huge ministry, uh, helps you know hockey teams and everything like this by spreading the gospel and the word. He's also the co-founder or should say administrator and founder in Peterborough and the Kawarthas for the uh, Youth for Christ Canada, which is he deals with a lot of youth children. He has a drop-in center. It's where I started 16 years ago. When Children's Aid dropped me off in a men's shelter, the first place I found rescue and help, believe it or not, was at a Christian drop-in center, and I met Tim Coles. There's your second evidence of proof that God still exists and God is in my life. Because we, today, are sharing God's gospel all the time in, in Messenger. Um, I'm waiting for, to see what his reply is. You know, I told him about today. I was like, man, I was really tested. Like, today was really bad. Like, is God really coming? Like, I don't remember him saying anything in Revelations about nuclear bombs, you know. But they don't get into that definitive. They say governments will fight against governments and people will fight against governments and everything. And, you know, there'll be fire and all this stuff. And the sun... As far as I could understand, the sun was the result. You know, we were going to basically, it's going to get so hot. Like, it's going to be, you know, God's going to come down here and claim his world and claim his people back. But then solar, solar, solar flares are happening. So, you know, I, I had a lot of mixed feelings and stuff, and I shared that with him. So let's play some tunes. Uh, we'll see what this, uh, this list gives me. And uh, we'll go from there. Wait for 
Chris and Mads to go by.
That was a really good backing track. I really liked that, and uh, it inspired me to kind of start singing. And that's when you know you got something going on there. So I'm going to save that to my um, backing tracks. Great blues backing tracks. So listen, I'm past my time. I hope that uh, everybody has had a great time. I'll sit here and we'll talk. I'll end this uh, live here in about five to 10 minutes, allowing people to um, connect or say their goodbyes. <sighs> what a beautiful guitar. See, even God blessed me with an amazing piece of wood. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. I've had some really expensive guitars in my day. I've had PRS 20, what was it a 22 fret or a 24 fret? Um, seven rotary, 2007 PRS. And I mean, this thing was elder body. It was immaculate. But I got rid of it because I wasn't happy. This guitar couldn't be more than worth than maybe about seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe twelve to the right buyer because of its age and the authentic one pickup cavity. Um, You'll find the new Yamaha Pacificas, uh, any of them that are made, they have two pickups. You, I can't even find a one pickup um, one uh, unless you start going down to the 90s and early 2000s. And I happened to pick this guitar up at a really, really, really immaculate price. I think it was around 400 bucks at a pawn shop or something of that sort. It's hard for me to remember where I got it from exactly. But oh, it just, it, it does everything for me. It does everything for me. And some. And uh, this is me just getting to know it again. Uh, sober. <laughs> uh, without, you know, being inspired through being drunk and careless. And not really necessarily knowing what I'm doing or what kind of feelings I'm going through. Just letting my soul talk in that type of state. So... One thing that, you know, learning the programs, learning how it all works. I'm not quite too happy with the tone quite yet, uh, but I do have some refreshing or some saved files of tones that I've liked before when using this program. 
And uh, I'm a big tone guy. If I hear the tone and everything sounds great, if I start getting goosebumps, you're gonna see things come out of these fingers that even Judy hasn't seen yet, do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're allowed to make jokes, I think. It, uh, it has been a journey, it's been amazing. Uh, it's been great on this YouTube channel, there's been ups and those downs, but one thing that's for sure is, is there's some amazing people out here there's an amazing community of awesome, awesome people. And uh, I'm happy to have attracted those people and hopefully we can attract more. Belle V, I will stay within your statement. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff here, nor would you ever have to bring it up or talk about it. You can be as real as you wanna be and you will be accepted and loved for exactly that here. Um, we will love and support you no matter what. I've said this before, anybody can purchase my services to play on their panel uh, through donations or through support, uh, being a you know, high channel member for 10.99 a month or whatever. Those are one of the things I can come over and play and perform um, uh, uh, and play on your panel. Um, and for friends that are close and stuff, um, you know, I have offered backing music that gives you monet no monetization issues. Uh, Art and Adventure and Tasha is one of them. She has a complete playlist of all my original music that allows her to play it through her live streams. No copyrights, no strikes. And it's music that makes you think. It makes, it's music that gives comfort to people. And uh, I, I can't be more thankful that she's supportive that way. She's been a supporter of this channel since day one, since I was under a thousand subscribers. So of course, um, she has anything I have, you know. You kind of end up gaining that type of love and, and giving respect to people who stick with you that long. But those things are all available. They will be available to paying channel members and each level will give you more perks. 1099 will give you complete access to all my music at any point. You can have it through your live streams. Also, you can also have me play on your stream uh, once or twice throughout the year, uh, depending on what kind of event that we're talking about. Um, if, if you're not a channel member and you can't afford that, we can discuss us playing on your stream and me entertaining uh, as an entertaining thing in the background, me and you. I'm not looking to raid people's pockets. I'm not looking to make any profit, but it does help to have a little help. I help you, you help me. Anybody can purchase the services of my guitar playing, unless of course you are harmful to the community of people around me or harmful to anybody. I'll still pray for you and I still have love for you. I just will not play my music over there. That being said, anybody can purchase the services and have entertainment played on their panel. What you can't purchase is who I support, who I stand for and what I stand for. You cannot purchase me, nor can you purchase who I support or who I hang out with or the decisions I make. Anybody, and I'll say this again, can purchase my music, no different than me going and playing a bar. If somebody wants to pay me the money and, and, and hire my services to entertain a crowd and make people feel good, and I get a little bit in return, you can have that, but you cannot control or purchase what my personal decisions or who I choose to support. That is not part of the deal, and never will it be. So all I ask when I, and people in my chat is conflict resolution is always good. You know, conflict resolution is always the way to find resolution. Conflict isn't a bad thing, you know, when done and dealt with properly. Um, I just don't want people attacking people. If there's a problem, feel free to reach out to us. We will be more than willing to try our best to um, mediate and comfort uh, situations to hopefully have everybody and anybody who can be involved to get the same feeling and the safeness in my chat. If it can't be, then that's cool, we can just move on. Um, but I have love and forgiveness and grace for everybody as it's given to me. God give it to me unconditionally. God's given it to me through all my mistakes. He gave it through Moses, he gave it to Paul, you know. <laughs> He's given it to all of his apostles, every one of his apostles, every one of the people, all of his followers, everybody in the stories of these books. These weren't people that were flawless, that he saved and showed mercy to. These were people that were sick. These were people that were shined away from what would be considered as the perfect person in that time, you know. And so I hold no judgment. I had no judgment, no hate, no animosity, regardless if we see eye to eye or not. I still love every single person just as much as I 
want to be loved. I love the same way, okay? And again, I'll repeat it. You can purchase my music and my services, but you cannot purchase me and my heart and my soul and my decisions. If it's a toxic, toxic environment, I'm sorry. It's just it's a conflict of interest. I'll still come over and play for 15, 20 minutes, sure. But I won't hang out in your chat and I won't conflict or be involved with those type of environments. Um, I, I don't mind being in front and entertaining and inspiring and giving people a moment of peace, even the most dangerous areas that I could be. I've done that, you know, bars are loaded with it, you know. Um, but I do have a choice on whether or not I want to stay and eat there and, and live and breathe there, you know, and that's my choice. You can purchase my music. You can't purchase what I support and who I support. I will support who I want to support. And that's it. Period. Period. That being said, I hope that puts an end to the emails that I've been getting, you know, and, and all the nonsense that I've gotten a few of them, not going to lie. And all I keep telling them is it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. And uh, I'll pray for you. I'll, I'll have love for you. And um, hopefully things get better. And you're welcome in my chat. None of them are blocked. There's a few that are, but that's because I know that they're in a place in their life that it can only be harmful to the people in my chat. It can only be harmful for the people that are searching for growth and searching for healing and searching for love. Um, and I just... I. You know, it says right in the book, I can forgive and make amends with as many people that I've hurted um, and, and try my best to reestablish relationships with people to show love. But if it becomes hurtful to me or other people, that's when I can forgive, but I got to let God. You know what I mean? Forgive and let God. That's it. You know, God is in control. God has control of everything in my life. And, and that's just the way it is. I've gave him the wheel. He has the wheel. God has the wheel in my life. That's it, period. And I can say that. I will say it every stream. That's what it'll be. And I, I encourage people to stick around and see the amazing work that he's going to do in my life and that he already has. And you'll see the transformation and the change for yourself. It's one day at a time. One day at a time. One scripture at a time. And sometimes even one minute at a time. Okay? I just want to say thank you to everybody and all the amazing original faces, the old faces, some of the people who've stuck around, the new faces that have joined me tonight. Thank you so much. The ladies, special shout out to you, you know. Um, I want to make sure that ladies are just as, as comfortable. I hear a lot of people use the terminology, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. You know, I hear broadcast radios, all that stuff, hey guys, you know. But the ladies need some acknowledgement as well, right? guys and gals, you know, um, it just, it becomes such a plural saying now, it's like, it, we're, it even addresses to the girls, you know, the women, hey guys, you know, how's it going guys, how you do, welcome back to my channel guys, <laughs> no, shout out to the women as well, thank you so much, and, and because of you, it gives the queen an amazing environment to be comfortable with, um, and who knows, maybe you might see her on people's panels. We already had her up on Trickies, right? She was up on Trickies the other night. So is my sister, which is a big announcement I have. My blood sister will be up on this channel. You're going to meet my real sister, my real blood flesh sister. She has a channel too. And I gave her my complete streaming setup that uh, initially I had played five gigs in a very toxic environment and I sacrificed everything and the people around me in the community because like again, you can purchase my services, you can't purchase me and you can't purchase who I support. Um, that's just the way it is, but uh, I did. I, I went out there and I played and I earned that, that computer. And uh, it roughly with the interface, the microphone and the computer included with the monitor, the keyboard and the mouse is probably around 1500 to two grand. I gave that to my sister because I wanted her to be fruitful, I wanted her to be, have enough availability, and I wanted her to be able to live stream and get involved. She's been doing it with her cell phone for a while, and uh, she does it on Facebook. She has YouTube, but you know, you know how it is when you're trying to grow a channel on YouTube and you don't have a community around you or anybody that knows you, it's a pretty tough go, especially if you're doing it from your cell phone. 
Um, so you need to, you know, she needs to engage and get involved. And uh, I can't wait to introduce her to you because, boy, is she ever in her spiritual growth as well. Some big things are going on on this channel, and I can't wait to have people involved to see this. And you're going to get a chance to meet my personal sister, my personal sister. She is amazing. Here. For those that haven't, this is my niece. That's my sister's daughter. She also raised two daughters, uh, another daughter and another son with my nephew and my niece, Daniel and Jewel. This is Maya. This is my son right here. That's my son. And of course, this was me holding him at birth, having a hold of him. He's with my mother. Um, he's with my mother and a loving family. He's very well, very well taken care of. But that is my son. That is my niece and nephew. It's family. And uh, my sister gave some pictures and stuff to me so I can have it near to my, you know, near to my life, near to my heart, and near visible at all times, which is super, super cool. Yeah, there he is there, too. What a, what a picture. He's wearing my hat. Where is it? In the center or in the left side, I think it'd be for you. Maybe the right, depending if it's mirroring. He's just looking at me in my eyes. Oh, man. I didn't have a beard back then, friends. I had a full, I was all shaved up and everything, as you can see. <laughs> I was actually asleep with him there. I was asleep with him. You can see I was fully asleep. And he was asleep on my chest. And we were just laying in the, be in the hospital bath, in the bedroom, in the hospital bed. Getting emotional, getting emotional. <laughs> well, I think as much as I promised that I would end, I didn't want to go till midnight. So I want to uh, uh, get into a, a reading here um, to close this live down. And I always kind of just like to, I don't like to look at the book, you know, I just kind of like to scroll through and see what happens and I read it, you know, because a lot of times it'll be something that I need to read. And so, let's see. Thanksgiving. And I know this isn't about the Thanksgiving that we think of, the turkey, the bird, and all that. So it's going to be good. I think it's probably more about being thankful for even the little things in my life. Stone Wolf in the house. How you doing, champ? Check it out, man. I got my guitar back. Take a restream and see it. I'm going to set up that uh, strap that you gave me. And uh, I will have that. That's going to be my guitar strap for that guitar. And as you can see, it is completely all shiny nude up it sounds better than it ever did and it plays better than i've ever had it and i'm gonna have your strap on there permanently um as stone wolf made me not only that but i wish you know what i'm gonna do it i gotta show this just for one second there is there's a case here i know it's in there Coming through the sky. <laughs> well, uh, I wish I had the room and the uh, availability to just have these set up, but uh, 
it's two green screens stuck together as you can see or you can or not you can see there's a bit of issue but it's pretty good So, there's this. Check it out. Okay? Now if I go to here, and I'm going to read this, this scripture before I'm done the stream here, the closest stream down, about Thanksgiving. So check it out. Oh, it's green. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where do we go? Video. Go like this. Chroma key. There you go. This is a stone from Stone Wolf. And does it look like something? Let me help you picture it out. Isn't that super cool? Now, I'm not going to strum my guitar with this specifically, but I would play my dobro or I'd play a bass with this. But Stone Wolf sent this to us as well. Um, and it, it is a stone pick. <laughs> and it's super cool. The other thing that he sent me, which I thought was super awesome. Um, was this. So this will be the strap, guitar strap, which is the color of my channel. It's black, red, and I believe he's got some yellow in there. It would be green, but... From here, you, you it's, it's close as you can get, right? This will go. This will be rigged up as my guitar strap for this guitar. This will be the guitar strap. It will stay there permanently and uh, never leaving it from Stone Wolf. So when I'm out playing live and stuff like that, um, and we're doing shout outs on the channel members, because remember, we're going to be doing live shows on the channel memberships. Um, live in my bedroom in a studio here, um, if you will, for $4.99 packages, but me going and playing live um, out in, in the city and stuff like that this summer with a band or an open mic. Uh, it could be downtown in front of a liquor store. I don't care where it is. Um, you know, I'm going to be out playing in front of the public, and those will be available for $10.99 memberships or $10 memberships. And then, of course, the clips will be then released to the 4.99 membership so that they can see them in segments. And then eventually it will be released to the subscribers. Once, maybe twice a month, will I play music on the subscribers live. And if I do, it's probably going to be around a five-minute um, subscriber um, wait for people to interact in the chat. That's just the way it's going to be. You know, I don't care about rapidly growing quickly. Um, I have ways and people that will be working with me. Uh, Tricky Bricky's one of them. We're going to be collaborating possibly a once a month stream on his channel, um, uh, which is crazy, really crazy, because I'm blessed to even have that ability. I think he just hit over 15,000 subscribers. Is there like 15, 3, 15, 4, or something like that? Uh, his channel's doing really well. And one of the biggest things that we talked about in private was that, like, look, man, I don't need my channel shouted out when I'm there. I know you love how I play and stuff, but I'm here because I love you, man. <laughs> I love him, you know. He does a great job inspiring people. He runs an awesome chat. If you don't know him, check him out. 3 p.m. to, I think it's 6. Now, for him, it's 7 to 10 in the U.K. time, but that's five hours ahead. But if you check it out, if you like the radio, you ain't heard nothing yet. He, every day he does different trances, different types of music. On Saturdays or Fridays, I think it's rock and roll and then grunge rock. He'll have trance, he'll have you know dubstep, and you get to request your favorite songs and hear it. But then you also have him, and he does all this amazing green screen effects. He's the one that helped me with the green screen you're seeing now. I, you've known I've owned it, but has it ever looked this good? No. He's helped me out, and, and so through helping him helping me, I'm helping him, you know, and, or, or at least I want to, you know, uh, not that he needs it by any means, but it's just a co content collaboration, you know, we're both content creators, we both strive to give the same thing, and we both really enjoy each other's entertainment. He likes my guitar playing, apparently I look like his dad, <laughs> 
And I'm like, the good, you know, the dad he'd never, he never had. So he's had the same type of mutual things, you know. We have a lot in common. And uh, I really do. I truly support this guy 100%. I have a blast. Every day I'm over there at 3 p.m. Um, it could be 4 p.m., depending on where you live in the States. But for me, Eastern time or Central time, it's 3 p.m. until, I think, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, 6 o'clock, I think it is, actually. Yes, it is. At 6 o'clock, he ends up closing down. But every day, he has different memberships or different availabilities and stuff like this um, when it comes to music. You get to go over there. CFM Queen, if you'd like to share his channel, you feel free to do. Fishing time. Let's go. How you doing, champ? Thank you so much for joining us. Um, but yeah, come on over there. Come see us and let them know you're part of the CFM squad because I have like five or six of us now that are over there every day and we come over there and he'll acknowledge he knows you're a part of it. You tell him he's a part of it. He'll know you're good people. He'll give you a shout out. He will acknowledge you in chat and he will play the songs that you want him to play. And sometimes, depending on, on the request, some people don't catch, you know, if it's trance night or if it's dubstep night or if it's, you know, rock and roll or blues night or whatever the case is, subject might be. A lot of people may not get the hint, you know, so you could get two or three songs. I think Judy might have had like four played today. I don't know. Like, but Judy's over there. CFM Queen's over there every day. She goes over there. Uh, she had an amazing time today over there. Get over there with Tricky. Go meet him up and let him know CFM sent you. Uh, the Queen will share his link. You're going to have a blast. 15,000 amazing people following him. He has a great moderating people over there, including myself. And we just want to keep it clean, keep it inspirational, and, and, and have people having a good time so that when they leave that stream, they can go have a great day, you know, or a great evening. And that's, that's what it's all about. Isn't it? That's what it's all about. CFM stickers, never handed out. CFM guitar picks, never handed out. Original Canadian fishing musician for Pink, and that was for Judy for uh, supporting cancer. Those have been handed out, but not for a long time. There's so many. I have a whole whack load of some old man outdoor stickers that'll be going out for free. There's, there's, there, I have so much stuff. I'm not kidding. It's crazy. The list goes on. Anyways, these will all be offered to channel members um, and supporters of the channel very, very shortly. I mean, within the next week or so, because, uh, well, the money's coming in. And if I can give back without putting myself out or me and Judy out, then that's exactly what we're going to do. That being said, I want to end this stream with some positivity, with some inspiration. And this is what I'm going to read. This is, this is, to me, this would be a message not only for myself, but maybe a message for other people that would be uh, uh, interested. It comes out of the book of Corinthians, or Corinthians, Corinthians. And uh, I would say Corinthians 1 4. And uh, the title mint or the. Um, the kind of, yeah, the titlement of it would be Thanksgiving. So first I want to thank God and pray to God to give me the wisdom and the heart and the, the acceptance of the message that you're going to give to me and possibly to other people who are listening or need to hear this, even if they are Christian or not. Sometimes just hearing the word love, seeing love is enough to bring us to the light. That's all I can ever be, God. That's all I can ever measure to uh, I would really, really enjoy you using me as a vessel, but most importantly, you're using other people around me as a vessel as well to show me the light, to open doors up to me, and to make this foundation concrete so that nothing, no wind, no storm, no person, no thing, no place, no nothing can interfere and crack the foundation or shake this house down again. That's what I'm thankful for, Lord. And, and, and I just hope that... Uh, I can continue on and see as clear as I can with you by my side. Thank you. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given in Christ Jesus. 
For in him you have been enriched in every way. Amen. With all kinds of speech and with all knowledge, God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. That's cr therefore, <laughs> what? therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift. We were just talking about that. The spiritual gifts that are given to each individual person, whether it be playing guitar, making few people feel comfortable, poetry, Judy's amazing poetry, could be just running a really good stream like Tricky, uh, giving an amazing environment and safe place for people to have fun. These are all gifts. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end. I just finished asking. Did I, did I just finished praying and asking the Lord to make sure, you know, to, 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 to constantly keep me in check and keep the foundation firm so that nobody hears the answer of the Lord answering back and saying, you fool, keep reading because <laughs> I'm telling you the answers right now, right? Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. God is faithful. That is so powerful. One of the biggest things that I always have an issue with, and, and, and I can still say that I struggle with in some way, is that knowing if God's there, you know? And, and you, when you, all these things are happening around in the world and all this nastiness and craziness, it's like, how can you be there if, if all this is going on? And, and one thing, it creates that naiveness to understand that there is a war between good and evil. It really truly is. The world is full of it. And, and the Lord talks about it right from the get-go, from the beginning, pr presuming and telling us revelation about the world and everything that's going on around us. And, and today, right, I, I know I shared this with people today that I was kind of sitting in an odd spot and that I wanted to give Tim uh, my, my, what I would call my ministry, my minister, my best friend and my, and my overall person that I turn to in my deepest struggles when it comes to my Christianity. Um, I messaged him and told him, you know, I was kind of being shaken by all this stuff, the solar flares, the possibility of a nuclear war. We got China and Ukraine and all this madness going on in the world and, and and there's a part in the book where it says all the governments and everything will face against each other people will rise and turn against the government and all this stuff this this crazy stuff is going on in this world so there was a part of me going like man you know i'm just starting to feel you god in life like what, you're coming now like right now like i i right, right now <laughs> You know, and, and, and I, st I was really, for, but look at right here, it says, it just literally gave me the answers. He will also, he will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, of course, that could never have happened without the resurrection of Christ, right? The resurrection and the crucifixion. The crucifixion was the price paid, but the resurrection, he, it was the claim on us as people, as, as, as his children, so that we can be seated at the right hand with him at the, at the, at the throne, right? So that resurrection was the evidence and proof to let us know that our day is going to come. We're going there. If you truly believe and take the Lord and put him in your life, it, it, God was, was crucified, Jesus, as his, as his form of his son, right, the Holy Spirit, also still active and everything available in our lives. It's, it's, it flows through anybody as a vessel. That is what creates and, and, and pushes this around and, and how God uses us is through the Holy Spirit and through studying the word in that Holy Spirit. But the fact that the promise is there, he will keep you firm to the end. God is faithful, never giving up, right? Faithful. Could you imagine what faith, do you know what faith is? Faith to me is in the things that are unseen. See, if we see it, then we think it's guaranteed, right? Everybody, even on Facebook, YouTube, social platforms, and everything like that, I've heard it many times, if it didn't happen online, it can't, have, it can't be true. What? Excuse me? I saw a guy, I'm not kidding, I was on Tricky's chat, and we were sitting there hanging out and talking, and, and this guy come up on panel, we were talking about the subject of AI. 
and this guy come up on panel. Thank you so much, Don R, for that amazing super chat, by the way. I really appreciate that. I'm just trying to stay focused on this for a second. I'm going to give you a shout out. Uncle Don R, I just want to tell you through the move, your fishing rod was the number one, one of the first things that I had packed up. It's up here. It's with us. It's with me for life. Like, I'll never, ever be gone. Don R was also the gifter of the Uncle Lou rod. We call the Uncle Don, the, you know, Uncle Don rod or the Don R rod. Uh, and it, I gifted it to Judy. I told her, Judy, here you go. You know, this is a great rod for her. She likes it. She loves it. And uh, she's caught some amazing fish on that. But so faithful, to have faith is, is to have something in the unseen, right? To be faithful even if you can't see it right now in your path. If, if everything around us is falling apart and you still have faith in the overall end goal, whatever that is. And people do it all the time, whether it's, you know, to, to accomplish something, get their license, um, to get a career, um, you know, and, and starting right from scratch and not knowing very much and learning something. It's the willpower and the faith in knowing something exists without having the proof and evidence, so to speak, right in your face, right? Believing in the unseen. And it says God is faithful with us. But yet he sees everything. So while I'm falling around and, and, and you know, and, and, and falling short of this relationship with Christ and giving Christ my everything, right? Okay. Oh, Don, sorry. Don R. gifted the fly fishing reel. That's right. The fly reel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I, it, I have focus on one thing. And, and one of the things I'm learning is to keep focus on what I'm doing no matter what it is, and I apologize, sorry about that. Don R actually gifted us the fly reel, which I have. The, the fly reel with my Fluger fly rod, it's sitting up on the, uh, in the garage in the attic beside the Uncle Lou rod. But even though God sees his children getting lost in the fields, you know, and lost in this materialistic kind of um, world that we live in, he is still faithful in knowing that his children and knowing that his path and his plan will see fit. And that people like me, you, other people will see this, you know, and be a part of it. And, and, and that just alone, two promises that are given to me that are so related to today. He will also keep you firm to the end. So even if this is the ending times right now, he's keeping our relationship tight. His promise is made. It is going to be delivered to me. I will see him. We will have an intimate, you know, one-on-one -on -one love and conversation and a hug and I will see myself in heaven. That is so amazing. And then to say that God is faithful, who has called you into the fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, through the resurrection, through the sacrifice and the crucifixion, he paid the price to give us this fellowship with his son. Amen. That's, that's, that's the answer. Right? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that something that it's not. I, if I truly doubted and thought, okay, I had some issue with this and I didn't understand, I would ask people. But given the circumstances of today, given the fact that I just found out about the solar flares and I kind of had the fear that the world was coming to an end, I was getting scared, which means I was starting to lose a bit of faith, you know, in, the, in, the, in God's plan because it says it right in the book that it's going to get pretty crazy and those signs are what's going to tell us you know, these signs are what are showing us that God's coming close. He is coming near, right? God will keep us firm until the end. And through God's sacrifice, through his only begotten son, through the sacrifice and the crucifixion, showing us the resurrection, showing us that we will rise and that it is possible and that that will happen in God's time and God's plan. That's my answer right there. That's it. That's my answer, and I hope it might be an answer. It might be a comfort for everybody else. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming in here. Look at me already. I'm almost sitting at quarter to 11, you see? I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? Like, I could, I just want to, I'm so excited and so full of this. I just, I could sit here and share it forever. You know, I really could. I could sit here and share it. And I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Probably fear, fear of judgment scared you know this just i didn't have god in the forefront of my life he is my courage he is my battle he is my armor and he is my weapon against all evil or anything that opposes against me god's love and sacrifice is a perfect example the walk of christ is a perfect example of how we deal with trials and tribulations in life 
And that is, the, that is the path, that is the lessons that I'm learning and that I will consistently learn for the rest of my God-given privilege to be on this earth, to act as a vessel, as part of the temple and the part of the Lordship and the whole kind of thing. I thank everybody for coming in and joining me. Hopefully, um, everybody will have an amazing night. Go out there and find inspiring people. Go out there and be inspired. Go out there and get love. We are what we eat. Even if we think we're just hanging out in some areas, uh, you know, the negativity, all this and everything like that, it will affect your mentality. Things that we see, what we eat, everything. From the point of what we eat, it affects our body and how we feel the next day. What we see affects our perception. What we think about affects our mentality. That's why I have to turn to God. Because people, places, and things is so important. I am so receptive to what I eat, what I see, and what I think about. Because I truly care about the environment, not only of myself, but the people around me. This is CFM. I love you. Thank you so much for coming in here. If you can't be, if you can't be good at it, at least give it a shot. Fake it till you make it. And we'll be here to catch you if you fall. Thank you so much, everybody. This is CFM. I'm out. God bless. Can't say I'm a star.